welcome to a new episode of uh, SketchUp.us. Today we'll talk about uh, layers and uh, the outliner, which is this one here. And basically how we can uh, organize your uh, model and whatever you are building in uh, SketchUp. It, it is an easy way. Uh, basically on the layers you're going to notice um, they can be found in Windows and again you can activate them from here uh, when they are stacked you're gonna have this small dash line and when they are active they are actually click here as you can see those which are not open uh, as you can see like the material ones they are not click if you click on it uh, a new window is gonna appear here so about the layers uh, the layers uh, usually if you want to click uh, on the plus you create a new layer so let's say uh, we're going to create a gear 1 and uh, another one, let's say gear 2. So basically what I like to do is the big gear to put on the layer number 1. And the second uh, gear I want to put on layer number 2. Notice also we have this entity info window. When you're going to click on uh, an element, those are components you can change your layers so we can say this is gear one and this is gear number two but what is important is uh, also the outline uh, again uh, for gear if you click on this one as you can see you can change the name here and you can uh, uh, name it as uh, as you like either on the entity info uh, either on the description itself. So here we can say one and as you can see the name is changed here and this one could be number two and again the name is gonna be changed here on uh, on the outline. What's the difference between uh, layers and outline? Well with the outline I can insert some of the components. I can control basically the components as I said those are components as you can see here but if I want to insert let's say this gear inside of this component I can just drag it like this inside of gear number one and I can uh, have pretty cool uh, cool stuff um, I can select them both and I can make a group and again I can make a group uh, for this one and you can see inside of that particular group I have gear one and gear two uh, so it's an easy way to organize your uh, model and you can uh, definitely uh, select it and hide it and uh, do whatever you like. Uh, now if I will uh, hide per the layers, you see we hide different elements. Uh, but as a group, uh, I, can, uh, I can put this particular group, as you can see it's in uh, layer number one and we can say assembly. And those, this group, call it assembly, is actually in layer number zero. So again, uh, you can uh, play uh, with your uh, layers and uh, your outline just to organize your uh, model as you like. And again, uh, even if uh, some layer actives, uh, even if some of the layers are active and they have components on it, if you disactivate the main layer where the assembly is, those are going to be uh, hidden as well. So anyway, uh, it's an interesting thing to work with those two together. You can uh, use the layers for the major uh, elements and you can use the outline for the parts of the elements in, uh, in your model. So especially when you have complex uh, models with a lot of components uh, the outliner is going to become pretty handy and uh, you can use at the macro level the layers for instance you can have a gearbox and use a gearbox in the layer and after that the outliner different parts different gears inside of the gearbox you can have it as an assembly so again you can play with uh, the components and the groups there are differences between those as well 
and uh, with the layers and the outliner as well. So this is just an introduction, feel free to explore it. I hope you like it and uh, 